There's no better time for the Lost Princess Initiative than right now. The world is in an uproar. It's in a confused and chaotic state. And everyone's feeling a little bit lost. Rav Levi Yitzchak of Berdichev was famously known for seeing the good in each and every Jew. He looked for the Nakuda Tova and found it. But he also was known for wanting us to see the good in ourselves and to recognize who we truly are and what we're doing here and how important we are. Our service of Hashem is so high and so important that the least little movement, the least little mitzvah we do here on earth has great ramifications up above. Rebbe Nachman of Breslov held the Berdichever in very high esteem. He held him to be the splendor of Israel and a great light in the world. And Rebbe Nachman also focused on helping each of us find out who we really are and recognizing and then developing the good inside ourselves. In addition to the lost princess, Rebbe Nachman tells a short and famous story. The Turkey Prince. Once there was a king who had a son who thought he was a turkey. The prince took off his clothes and sat underneath the royal table pecking at the crumbs. Sage after sage, doctor after doctor came to treat the turkey prince, but no one could cure him. Finally, a wise man came who said to the king, I can cure your son. The king said, I have nothing to lose. Go ahead, try. So the sage went and he took off his clothes and he sat down underneath the royal table next to the turkey prince. And the turkey prince said to him, who are you? And the sage said, I am also a turkey. And then the sage put on his shirt and the prince looked at him and he said, why are you putting on a shirt? And the sage said, just because we're turkeys doesn't mean we can't wear shirts. The turkey prince thought about it. He grabbed his shirt and he put it on and they sat companionably beneath the table. A short while later, the sage said to the turkey prince, I'm gonna put on my pants now. And he put on his pants. And the prince said to him, why are you putting on pants? We're turkeys. And the sage said, just because we're turkeys doesn't mean we can't wear pants. And the prince thought about it and he too put on his pants. A little while later, the sage reached up on top of the royal table and grabbed some food off the table and began to eat regular human food from a plate. Turkey Prince said to him, what are you doing? And the sage said, I'm hungry. And just because we're turkeys, it doesn't mean we can't eat delicious food from a plate. The Turkey Prince thought about it and he too began to eat food from a plate. A short while later, the sage stretched his arms and said, you know, I'm going to go sit at a chair at the royal table next to your father. Why don't you join me? Just because we're turkeys doesn't mean we can't sit at the table and eat. The turkey prince agreed. He got up fully dressed and sat down at the table next to his father for the first time in a very long time. Eventually, the sage cured the turkey prince completely until he no longer thought he was a turkey. In this story, we understand that 
It's not easy to live in this world and that we're not really so in tune with ourselves. Sometimes we think we're turkeys, but we're really princes and princesses. And all the tzaddikim are here to show us what our inheritance really is. Look in the mirror and see the prince or princess within.